well, that's it, guys. We have three topics this show. We've tackled all three topics. So it is a smaller show again, but everybody's going to be seeing Doctor Strange. I already got my tickets for repeat viewings, and I don't even know if I like the movie. So I'm committed to this thing. It's going to be great. I, I, I'm seeing it once. I ain't risking it again. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I can't do this. I already took a risk at the weekend like, before. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't keep doing it. Just, the anxiety is too much. It's like, just show up wearing all white and a hood. And if they ask who you are, just... Oh, that's a fantastic idea. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Well, no, no, no. You got to tell them you're Moon Knight and that's why your face is covered as well. Like, uh, mm. But at least you're not in the United <laughs> States. You tell people you're a white dude wearing a bunch of like, you know, white stuff from Egypt. They'll be like, oh, tourist, huh? Huh, time to get this one. <laughs> I say Comic Con is going to be a very interesting. Oh one. no! There's going to be a lot of white hoods running around. That's going to be very. Make sure you step into the right parade because <laughs> you could end up on the wrong news. <laughs> uh, okay. What do we want? Uh, uh, Kanshu. <laughs> yeah, Kanshu. Why are those guys screaming no women's rights? <laughs> what, what are we in for? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's the, you're gonna quickly just deteriorate a comic con. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, YouTube's not gonna let this go. Up. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Like, screw mm. these guys. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you everybody for joining us for this spectacular demonetized podcast. <laughs> so, um, we will uh, catch you all next week, and there's gonna be plenty of Doctor Strange talk. So, um, stay tuned. These segues are landing like, but like we're just on point this week because, guess what? Uh, we did have something to happen that's kind of bad in the Marvel realm, but maybe not, depending on how you look at it. But John Watts has left Fantastic oh, yeah. Four. Mm. Th mm. This is a big one. Um, hmm. I'll be honest, I forgot about this. <laughs> it's honestly, there's been so much it got swept away. <laughs> It's... I'd say it was like big for a couple of hours. I saw someone mention Matthew Vaughn and I instantly vomited. No. <laughs> I can't I think of a worse idea than white bread Matthew Vaughn. You guys know I'm a Matthew Vaughn fan, but I'm going to tell you right now, no. Uh, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's... No. <laughs> uh... I just... It's... No. I mean, look. From what we understand... He didn't leave because of anything bad. He left because he's got the burnout. He feels burnt out by superhero fatigue after six years. I mean, yeah, you know. I say it's, it's still like, if this is the the uh, blah, 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 the legit reason why. Then yeah, fair enough. Whatever. Uh, and, take like, a break. Like it's just like six, seven years. Like just relax for a little bit. Exactly. And the other part of the story that many people chose to ignore, which is fitting to their argument, because they were like, "Of course, John Watts is left. He's." He's better than them. Uh, after two two movies of hating on him, right? Suddenly he was... Oh, so is the way. So he, right, the way. right. He was God for No Way Home because he brought back Toby. And now he's left. He's like, he's better than that. Except the people didn't read the rest of it. Because it says, according to Deadline and then Variety saying as well, he's only taken a break up until the next Spider-Man film. And he's coming back for that. So... <laughs> I, I saw some... Cause I saw two things on that. I... I I think it was actually deadline variety again. But one said he's expected to, or Sony expects him to come back. The other one said he is coming back. Yeah. And they use those exact words. And I'm like, oh, which, well, which one is it? <laughs> There's expected to come back and is coming back are very different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm going to guess he's 100% coming back, but he just wants to go he's going to do a passion project and he's going to do, you know, yeah. like Disney has, Disney will give him something. He'll do what he's always wanted to do. And then he'll come back for Spidey. Right. Uh -huh. He'll do one for 20th century, which is now they're like more indie ish focused outlet. And he'll, yeah. it'll yeah. go to Hulu and theaters. He'll do something for Sony. That's an indie film as well. Get two passion projects. Then, then they'll be like, okay, now the back to slaving away on Spider-Man, right? <laughs> yep. That, that's it. I'm here. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, it's uh, it's the Chris like Nolan the Oscar, scenario. The he's going to win from one of these movies is going to be the handle of the whip. <laughs> and just like, yeah. 
which <laughs> which you fine. know it's oh uh, it's a it's crazy though but i am excited like look i love what he did with spider-man it's no secret mm-hmm. that i've said it before he's i mean he's directed my favorite spider-man films like that that's just he's directed sam raimi's favorite spider-man films yeah that's true too so you know it's it is an interesting scenario where he's gonna take a little bit of a break which is cool you know he can go do some stuff and then when he comes back now there's already been a lot of speculation on who could take over i mean what do you think like just not matthew vaughn i don't care (laughs) yeah i'm not feeling (laughs) matthew vaughn just not matthew vaughn um I don't want Peyton Reed either. I, I, I would like be his okay idea. With him. Yeah, I, I like the idea. I just don't want him. No, it's no. no. Yeah. And that's not me saying anything about the Ant Man movies in, in the slightest. I just don't think I want something new mm-hmm. for Fantastic Four. Yeah, but I think the, the way they've been going is they've been going for the unknowns. Yep, uh, the unknown new directors like just go, just do that. Yeah. I don't care who wins it, just Matthew Vaughn needs to lose. Uh, that's what I <laughs> oh, Mitch is becoming General Hux. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. You know, I legit forgot where that quote came from. So that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> My God. I was like, I noticed from somewhere. Uh, it's, I mean, I, I have a feeling that, yeah, they're going to go for a smaller indie type director. Mm. Or, I don't know what. Look, save Andy Serkis from Sony's dis- dismantling his career. Wasn't oh. he supposed to be back for Venom 3? Oh, no! Which is really unfortunate. Oh, I forgot that was announced. God damn it. Uh, uh, I told people I was going to forget that thing exists too. And uh, I guess I did. Uh, damn it. Yeah. I couldn't forget because it's just that horrific. Uh, the... I it's too you... horrifying to repress. It's too much. No. I wonder why they didn't announce a title. They're just like, we're working on Venom 3. I bet you they can't come up with anything stupider than Let There Be Carnage. They're really trying to figure out how to fit Toxin into the name. <sighs> oh, no! No! They haven't figured out there's an O right there, so you have Venom going horizontal and then Toxin going vertical. No, no, Mitch. I figured it out. You know how both Venom films have played up with the uh, symbiote sexuality, right? It's I don't gonna, like which is going, but okay. It's going to be called Venom Toxin Attraction. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Sony, I demand money for this. <laughs> I know you have those people that listen to this show. I demand money. You can hear the scribbling right now. Like, write that down. <gasps> write that down. Send that over to that dude who writes the script. Would somebody write the scripts for these? No, but give them the notes. Say so they're literally just that meme with the monkey with the brain. It's like neuron activated. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like this, but it's probably going to be. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. Like, John Watts on Fantastic Four, if he would have made it cool. I probably would have enjoyed it because I've loved his Spider-Man mm. films. But at the same time, giving somebody else a fresh crack at it while he comes back for Spider-Man down the road. Cool. I will rather take that, though. Like, that seems better. Yeah. You know, I if if he wanted to take a longer break and didn't do the next Spider-Man trilogy, I'd be cool with that as well. Yeah. Uh, yep. I think there's, there's never anything wrong with someone wanting to take a break and getting a new voice in. Yeah. It's never a bad thing. No, 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 no. It's honestly a good thing, you know? It's like... Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Um. Well, I guess that's what we got for that topic. Of nothing too much beyond that, really. Just John Watts is gone and somebody else will take his place and we'll see John Watts inevitably down the road. I just hope Sony doesn't toss like three times the amount of money on him. They're like, why don't you come direct this movie for us featuring the sinister six or something that would be terrible horrendous (laughs) oh but i suppose we'll find out soon enough our second topic mitch uh wb discovery three weeks into the acquisition it is a bloodbath of proportions all right um Mm -hmm. oh oof um 
where do we even begin? I mean, the CW is dead, right? Can we just that thing is dead. pretty much yeah. It, yeah I, mean, I, I was gonna save the CW and go for the Wonder Twins movie because that one's not official. There's been no like trade announcement on that. Mm. It's I, only for it's. I think it comes from that that hashtag show. So yeah. Take it as you will. I but. can confirm just one small detail of that, and that's that the teams that were putting together the sets, that they pretty much were told, yeah, not right now. So, no. So yeah, it's, it's just been shelved. Yeah. It, shelved, possibly just seeing what they can do, and my guess is it will officially be... They're never going to announce it's canceled because they never formally announced it was happening. We just knew because of trade, so it'll just be one of those things like... Like just yeah, but that's see. what WB do. They always <laughs> yeah. officially announce stuff through Trezor. They never actually do it themselves. That's so. true. That's true. So they can kind of get away with it. And I mean, they've done this before as well. Like, we've seen this exact type of thing. Like, Justice League Mortal was never officially announced. They just started shooting and on the first day shut it down completely. <laughs> so it's, it's true. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's the way that they do it. Um, I do think, though, that. Like, the CW was a guarantee that thing is going to get cut up and go away. Because, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like... Yeah. Say so the, They didn't cancel The Flash, which was interesting, but... Uh. Yeah, from what we're hearing about that one, a uh, shorter cut to a season, or it's going to end it with a super short season next year, which I, I hope that that's kind of the way. Don't just outright cancel it like Legends and... You know this thing, cause eh, eh. Nah, just get rid of it. it yeah. It's just get rid of it. It's too long in the tooth at this point. Yeah, it also makes me think. What of the new shows? Like you got Gotham Knights and that Justice School thing with Diggle being like the, recruiting the next League of Heroes. Like I, I'm assuming that's going to become Superman and Lois scenario where they share it with. Like HBO and TBS, TV and like TV. I assume it's not even going to happen. Do oh, you think they could cancel it with the pilots? Just because they're yeah. they're almost done shooting yeah. the pilot for pickup and the pickups. Yeah. I mean the upfront and pickups are this month, so we're gonna find out either if it makes it any time now. Which if they, I'm just gonna say if they pass on those shows, the CW is dead for Super, for DC. It's it's over. Like, Superman will also yeah, move yeah. to HBO and it's over. Like, it's... Yep, oof, yep. It is tough. Like, that is... It's, because why would Discovery want any of that, right? Uh, I mean... <laughs> oh, oh, it's not like they ever did anything. It's just yeah. like, okay, cool, this, this is the thing we're throwing money at for no reason. Yeah. It, it, it's true, though, and like, you know, we talked about it in our members topic, one where I could reveal just a couple details of how much debt and, you know, Discovery yeah. even revealed this time they're canceling because they inherited $3 billion worth of debt that WB had that was just kind of like sitting there that they had to inherit. And now their insane spending starts to make sense. You're like, these guys did not know what they were doing. Like, yeah. Well, so remember when it came out, the CW was like a, a money laundering thing. It never made a profit in like 16 years. <laughs> like, why would Discovery want that? <laughs> Just don't like, check no, the paperwork, please. Thing. Please don't check the paperwork. <laughs> it's uh, like, well, why would you ever want that? Uh, yeah, it's... It'll be, it'll be gone. It, it will, sadly. Um, again, I know there's plenty of fans of it and all that, but like... At some point, they have to realize this thing isn't doing what it's supposed to. And I think they did. Yeah. And that's why you're getting this shuffle. And again, you know, talk about money mismanagement. It is still, we have so little that's coming from J.J. Abrams and his co. Like, what? Where is but the Hot Wheels movie? Yeah, Hot Wheels. <laughs> <laughs> A $500 million Hot Wheels movie. That is insane. Who? <laughs> Whoever greenlit that, I hope they were legit just fired. Just get rid of them. What were you thinking? That is... I mean, whoever made the damn deal in the first place, like... My God. That is... That's just embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. I've got second-hand embarrassment for a billion-dollar company. This is something new. <laughs> You failed I've never so felt this way. <laughs> you failed so hard that my poor ass is calling you out on this. My God. Oh, it's 
but th- that's the tragedy you know it's it's they yeah, kind of did yeah. it to themselves and i do hope that they can somehow recover from some of these missteps but a part of me just realizes that they dug their own grave for so long that discovery has yeah, to do this and yeah. you know cut them up and on top of this we just hear this week we're getting a amanda waller tv series um yeah well interesting. not necessarily amanda it, she's it's not necessarily that show we don't know what it is but we know that she's in talks for another suicide squad spin-off huh whether it's her own thing or something that she's just part of i don't think we know yeah but that's the impression that i got anyway because how do you read doing Amanda Waller series? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's, I mean, it, the best way to do it would be to introduce your new universe Lex Luthor and you, whoever your new Superman is and have her be the gateway to open that world as she starts to work with Lex again. Like, you know, you could yeah. do that through line, but I think they're too stupid to do that because they know the backlash is going to be freaking insane so it's like I, I don't know it's a weird position but at least you know it's james gunn because that's his corner of everything so yeah 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 there is hope there is hope but it's a part of me thinks they'll figure this out sooner rather than later but hey when they do yeah. i guess we'll talk about it uh look there's probably a chance every week from now on we're going to talk about more things that discovery is getting rid of so <laughs> stay tuned i guess we learned that the marvels aka captain marvel 2 and ant-man quantumania swapped release dates just a straight up swap now both of these films were shooting and finished shooting around the same time so it's a typical marvel studios turnaround of a year now for post-production so either one could have come out, but they obviously changed them for some reason. We don't know what it is. We could speculate what it is and what it could go into. But um, I honestly, I don't think it's quality of either product. That's my takeaway here. No, this would be plot related. Yeah. Yep. That's. And yeah, they said it for Dr. Strange or Bruce Campbell said about Dr. Strange. Mm hmm. Yep. You know, we know that ob- that thing obviously had to change because it was supposed to be before Spider-Man. Then Spider-Man came out before it, and then yep. stuff had to be moved around. So I reckon that's just all it is. And I do want to point out that something interesting also happened just a couple of days before this was announced. And that's Tom Hiddleston and people working on Loki confirming production is set to start at the end of this month into June. And if we look at the previous series, a year turnaround makes sense. So Loki season two featuring Kang with Quantumania right there before it kind of, yeah, it, it makes, yeah. it really makes sense if you think about the positioning of everything. So like, I, I kind of see it now. And then, yeah, they're, they're trying to get a phase four to have some semblance of um, <laughs> a narrative thread. Yeah. That's not constantly jumping around because mm-hmm. so let's be honest so far what we've had doesn't really have one solid string there's several yeah and it's nothing's in order <laughs> I, like, okay. i've kind of noticed um some of my friends you know like the ones that were like look i'm kind of done with the mcu for now they'll still watch it but they're not like watching it in theaters the main thing that they've said that's kind of held them back is there isn't that big narrative push like yeah. they had during phase two and three, where like, ooh, like, you know, everything's building up. And I think, you know, they're slowly drip feeding this phase. It it feels almost like phase one again. And some of these reshuffles almost feel like it as well. Yeah. You're like, they're trying to set up a narrative which they're going to follow. So I say, we're in the introduction phase again. Mm-hmm. Yep. And say, hey, here's all these people. There's a ton of stuff happening now. Yeah. Uh, he, he's a, uh, little nugget of a thread to push you forward like mm-hmm. how civil war was like a little thread that was being set up and then carried on yeah yep exactly so i mean this shuffle not really surprising and right now if we just kind of look at it 2023 is sounding pretty good like you're gonna have ant-man and have the marvels we're gonna have 
uh, by all accounts, Ironheart, Armor Wars, uh, Echo, and possibly Daredevil by the end of the year. Like, it's Loki. Gonna be, lo, lo, geez, yeah, Loki is guaranteed to come out then. What if Season mm. 2 and X-Men 97? Like, yeah, She-Hulk. She, dude, it is the next... Depending if She-Hulk doesn't come out this year or not. But yeah. You don't know where it got pushed to. Exactly, and... I mean, Blade also sounds like it's going to take maybe that November release date, like the first week of November next year. So, mm. and then you got all the, you know, Spider Verse stuff, and you got whatever Sony. Like next year at this rate might be the biggest Marvel year ever. Like it's looking pretty stacked. So it's. I think that's just going to be every year. Every year we're just going to be like, it's yeah. the biggest one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's, it's kind of become that. So it's. And then there's them being like, oh no, the Avengers are done. I was like, no, they're not. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way. Don't lie to me like that. Well, we said the Avengers are done, but we didn't say which of the new Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, we see, we said Avengers, but notice how the V has a little line above it. Yes, they're the Avengers. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, you know they're going to have two lines like one top and one bottom of the v so it's a five oh, <laughs> yeah they are yep uh, yep mm. oh well, hopefully not no. uh -huh. crossed. <laughs> wow so yeah um again nothing bad here it's a release shuffle look if this was wb it'd be cause for concern but disney's done this before seems to be going fine mm. but that was a segue. And welcome back, everybody. We are actually recording this a little earlier than normal. So if anything breaks on Thursday or Friday, we can't fit it into the show because we're doing this right as Moon Knight has dropped and we finished recording the audio commentary, which is now out to members. And of course, before we get into this show, this is your host, Armin, and I am joined, as always, by Mitch. What's up? You can follow me on Twitter at 692 Tweets. So, Mitch, I guess before we quickly get into it, we discussed this in our um, audio commentary, but we'll just do a quick little thing on Moon Knight here. Overall, I think we were both satisfied with with the thing as a series, right? I think that's kind of the takeaway yes, we both had. Yes. Yeah. They it that they had a landing. They didn't yeah. fumble it. Yeah. They definitely stuck to something. <laughs> and I enjoyed it without giving anything away. Yeah. It's, I, I thought it was great. There was a lot of stuff that I really liked that was, um, you know, just going on in the series that delivered, like, an ending that works, which builds off of what came before, and also they tease, you know, what comes next. So, all of it there. Obviously, we don't want to go too much into spoilers in case some people haven't seen it yet. Uh, also, people will be wondering why we're not talking about Doctor Strange in this show. It's because we're going to be seeing it, uh, about a day after this is recorded. That's why we're recording this early as well, because we're going to be seeing Doctor Strange, and then we're going to have a huge spoiler cast that's not just us. It's going to be on a different channel. I'll make sure I share the link and everything for you guys so you guys can see that. Um, it's going to be a big one. There's going to be a lot to talk about. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we, we are excited. We're planning. But we do actually have some news for this show that broke, coincidentally enough, the 24 and 36 hours after the last podcast, which is the curse of the podcast. So, yeah, yeah, it happens every time, every time. So, um, I guess with that out of the way, uh, let's just get into the first 